In this video, we're going to learn how to use aggregate function combinators in ClickHouse. Aggregate function combinators are aggregate functions with appended suffixes that change the way they work. We're going to explore them using this mid journey messages data set that contains metadata about images created using the mid journey gen AI service. So let's launch ClickHouse and then we're going to create ourselves a table called images. We'll use the merge tree engine and then we're going to order the data by the size, the height and the width. And then we're going to select everything except for the content and URL columns from a bunch of Parquet files that I've downloaded on my machine. We'll speed up the ingestion process a bit and you can see it processes 55 million records in just over 20 seconds. So let's have a look at what one of the records looks like. So you can see we've got an idea, channel idea, timestamp, image idea. And most importantly for this video, we've got the height, the width and the, the size of each of the images. Now let's say we want to count how many images we have that are 2000 or more pixels in width. So one way to do that is to use an aggregation filter. So we can use the count function and then we can filter it where width is greater than or equal to 2000. Alternatively, we can use ClickHouse's count if function and then inside the brackets, we can say width is greater than or equal to 2000. And if we run that query, you can see we get back exactly the same result of just over 17.6 million. Let's delete the aggregation filter and we're going to add in another count if. So this one's going to be for very small images, so less than or equal to 340 pixels in width, and then we can add the two results together. We can also do count distincts. We could count the number of distinct widths and heights, and you can see it comes back with the result. And we can also use count distinct if, and that's a similar to the, the, the count distinct, but again, we pass in a predicate. So this time we're saying the channel ID is a particular value. We can do that for the width and for the height. And you can see for this channel, it has like slightly less than the total number of unique widths and heights. We can also find the average width and height rather than just counting the unique values using the average and then in particular the average if function. And again, you can see it comes back with the results and the, the width and the height for that particular channel are, are a little bit less than the global average. Now, how about if we try to find the average size of images on a channel that doesn't exist? So this is on the Foo channel. It comes back with not a number, which is maybe not the greatest result. And so there are a couple of other functions we can use instead. So we can do average if or null and then we can do average or default if. And if we run that, we can see the results come back. So if it's a null and it's on and it's trying to do an average of something that doesn't exist, we're going to get a null value. And if it's default, then we're going to get the, the default value for that particular type, which in this case is zero. Next, we're going to look at the resample suffix, which divides the data into groups and then separately aggregates data in those groups. So those groups will be based on image size. So let's first find the maximum image size, which is just over 23 megabytes. And first, we're going to update the maximum size to be one higher as the sample functions don't include the upper bound and we'd like to include it. Now, these functions return arrays with a score per bucket. So we're going to use array zip to combine a bunch of arrays together because we're going to call a bunch of functions at once. We'll call array join to unpack those arrays into rows so it's a bit easier to see the results and then untuple so that each of the values goes in its own column. Now we're going to call our first resample function, which is count resample. And it takes in the first value is a start. The second one is the end. So like what's the bucket? What's the bucket size we're doing? And then the step size is the third value. And in this case, we're saying max size divided by 10. So we're basically saying we're going to have 10 buckets and the size is going to be the maximum size, 23 megabytes divided by 10. So 2.3 megabytes each. And then the next one is the resampling column, which is size. Let's do another one. So this time we're going to call array map first so we can format it into a readable format. We'll then call the min resample. So we're going to find the minimum size again from zero up to the max size in these 2.3 megabyte chunks. And then this time we pass in the column on which we're applying our minimum function, which is going to be size. And then the resampling column again is size. We'll do the same for max. So this is basically giving us what does the range of each bucket look like. And then we're going to do one for average resample. And so this one is going to have something slightly different. So the first value is going to be width. width. So we're computing the average width and again, resampling on size. And then the second one, we'll do it at averaging on the height. So we're going to get the average height and the average width per bucket. And you can see it comes back. The first bucket and the third bucket have the majority of the values. You can see again that the, the, the division is 2.3 megabytes for each one. You can see on the top bucket, we've got 1122 is the average width and 1099 is the average height. And if we come all the way down to the bottom, the biggest uh, the biggest image we've got is only one in that bucket and that's 11264 in width and 2048 height. Let's tweak and also tweak that. So we don't have to do the entire range of the images. We could say we're going to have a maximum size of 10 megabytes. And then it comes back like this. And so now we've got one megabyte 
chunks because remember we're still dividing by 10 and you can see again the distribution of the values in just the ones up to 10 megabytes. Everything beyond that has been stripped out. So if you enjoyed this video, you might also like this one here where we explore ranking window functions in ClickHouse.